As the season quickly shifted from autumn to winter, we woke up to a winter wonderland around us, though the snow presented some challenges along the way. It was time to head out of our camp and make our way to explore Rocky Mountain National Park. This snowy day seemed like perfect timing to see the national park as it received its first snow cover of the season. However, the storm had some other plans for us today. So today we have a reservation at the National Park, Rocky Mountain National Park. It's supposed to be snowing all day. And I don't know if that's gonna be a cool thing or a bad thing, but I think it's gonna be kind of cool to have snow coming down in the Rocky Mountain National Park all day. It's coming down pretty good. morning since it's cold we're going to some instant coffee this stuff is the best to have around especially when it's raining or snowing or whatever like that it's just quick and easy and if you look it up some people say it's actually better for you cool spoon that i got made out of horn so now since we have some more coffee let's go check this place out before we leave As you can see, this place is amazing. It was a good find. Uh, Brittany keeps finding us really cool spots. This is just a little creek. And something like this, so simple, can make it, I mean, a really nice time to spend a few days here, a week, or up to 14 days if you want. As much as I'd love to just chill here all day and enjoy this snowstorm, we got to get to the national park. Like I said, I think it would be really cool seeing it in this storm. I mean, Colorado's known for their winter and it just transforms the place into a whole nother paradise. So I think it might be cool seeing it like that. So I got to head back to the truck now and hopefully we can get out of here within the next hour. You guys hear that? It's nothing. Just the sound of nature. A little bit of the river going. No birds. Everybody's like nestled away in their trees or nests or wherever they are. And enjoying the first snowfall of the year. But I gotta stop procrastinating and hurry up and pack up because if not, we might actually get snowed into this place because we are on a mountain that actually closes when there's snow. Paul has to brush the car so we can drive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna brush it off the hood anyways. If anybody in the watching this knows, because we aren't from the snow, we're from Arizona. Do you guys brush the snow off of everything or do you just leave it? I think you just leave it. I think you just do the window. Is it gonna scratch the shit out Yeah, of the that's car? what I'm thinking. I think you're just scratching the truck. Snorkels are made to go underwater, so I think it's fine. <laughs> I think just the window is all we need. I think once we start driving, the rest just falls off. Can't get any more scratches than what we do going through trails. True. It's a chilly one. Quick stop before we get to the national park to get some water. The weather's not letting up, which is kind of a good thing, I guess. If we're gonna see it in the snow, it might as well be a good storm. But after we get some water, we're gonna head into the park and then do the rest of our errands after. We made it to the national park. It's snowing and I think it's gonna be a good day here. This should be really cool. I think it's gonna be fun. It was an amazing experience exploring Rocky Mountain National Park as it was blanketed with the first snow of the season. It truly felt like living within a snow globe as the snow fell in flurries around us. 
So I guess we have a little bit of a change of plans. So the storm, we thought it wasn't a big deal, but it closed the road on us and that looks like we have a three hour drive. This was supposed to be some little storm and it's actually turning out to be a pretty big storm. People are getting stuck. We stopped to help those guys and they were super appreciative of that. And everyone was getting pissed. I don't understand why people don't have a little bit of patience. I mean, you're just gonna leave these people out here to get snowed on and I don't know, but I stopped. I took up the whole damn road and got them out. But they got the plows out and they're finally starting to go down the road. And we're trying to find a spot to sleep tonight. But yeah, it's, it's not stopping. We're trying to find a nice spot to camp, maybe for a couple days. Brittany's not sure if she wants to stay somewhere around here where it's still snowing or maybe get out of this stuff because of the mud. It's only supposed to snow for today and then it's gonna be muddy. While it was a difficult decision, we headed out of the storm to a lower elevation to set up camp for the week in a warmer, and drier climate. What a day yesterday, that was some crazy stuff. Made it from the top of the mountains in the snow, crazy storm, went to see the national park. Now we're at this nice quiet little area. All the snow is gone, except for on the peaks of the mountains. And we finally found a place that we can relax for a couple days until we go into Denver and check it out because we've never been. You can see we still got a bunch of ice up there on the front. Just walking up to this little ridge, I mean, look at that view. It's amazing. You got the snowy cap mountains way in the back. The way me and Brittany operate is kind of unique. She's really into like, you know, the city stuff and the touristy stuff and that kind of stuff. And that's great. And sometimes I like it too, but I love being out in nature walking around the woods, building stuff, cooking stuff, making a campfire. That's my thing. During the week, we get to a spot, I do my thing. When we leave the spot, we go and we do touristy stuff, whether it's a restaurant or a tea place or, or whatever it is. And that's how we do it. And that's honestly how we've been able to live this lifestyle for seven years is because we kind of have different interests, but it all plays and works together. So since we just got to our spot, Yesterday, I got a few projects I'm getting done today, and also I'm gonna cook some dinner. This thing is like literally the best invention. So, a good burger, obviously, you got the fried onions, so we got that going. Then I'll drop it a little bit lower to get it nice and hot, and then we'll put the burgers on there. But this is a great way to utilize all the downed wood around here, clean up the forest a little bit, and make your meal for free without burning up propane. So I got some great local ground beef here. Still a little frozen, that's not gonna be very good cooking it up, but. Start seasoning them, salt and pepper. I don't know if he's young. Maybe that's big. I don't. I don't know. If you guys know about moose, let me know in the comments. But look at him. He's cool. I guess it's a pretty big rack. Such big animals.
Oh, take that buns up. We got some cheese dip we're gonna heat up. Put that just right on there like that. Back there. Less of a mess over in the fire. Mm, yeah, I like it. We hope that if you've made it this far into the video, that we have earned your subscription. Hit that subscription button, click the notification bell, and until next time, remember to always live free and stay wild.